Yeah, I'm going to outline a couple of processes in making the bracket for the uh, flower baskets that could fit on a fence or on a wall. I don't know if this is overly clear here, but I've sprayed the back of the of the bracket with uh, layout fluid and I've marked off the various dimensions that are on the plans. Here I've marked off the three quarter inch and as you see these pictures I'm going down the line and describing a mark at the various locations. Then using a square I'm going to scribe a line right across the back uh, with a scriber so I'll have several lines right across at the various locations that outline on the plans. And then most of those marks I want to find the middle so I'll, I'm going to use scri uh, scribers or dividers I'm sorry and etch what I, I think is the middle and then do both sides and where those lines are will be the middle. You'll see that if it's if a it little bit out you'll be able to identify the middle very easily. You can make out the two scribe marks and see they're about a sixteenth inch apart. It's very easy to identify the middle then. Here I'm just going to center punch the, the center so when I drill it I, I'm, my drill's not going to wander. I left the sound on. Here I'm just measuring for the offset hole. Use that also hole is there so we can get a screwdriver and attach it to the middle. After all the center punch work is done and you're uh, convinced it's right, you can then go and drill the 1 8 drill, all the holes, and countersink them for the screw heads. Forming the curve, you're using the 22 inch length of 3 8 round stock. And you have to note how I've got this in the bending tool. And it's just a simple way of uh, bending it. But you notice I'm just going a little bit uh, at a time, about every half inch or less, and slowly just giving it a little bit of a, a bend so that it'll add up to a curve. And watching what I'm doing and just moving it a little bit. Now, we'll check it with a square in a minute. Just watch this. See the curve taking shape. A few adjustments. I'm going to check it with a framing square and I find that I have not bent the curve, curve enough, so I'm going to make a few adjustments. Oops, too far. So here I've put it in a vise, I'm just going to do it by hand, and uh, I'll check it in a minute, but it, I'm going to make sure it's straight also. And then I'm going to put it back in the uh, square. And I got the angle I was looking for, it matches perfectly. Well then I grind the, the ends of the curve so uh, I, when I weld it I've got a position for the weld to go or space for the weld to go in. And then on the hook portion which is now straight we'll bend it later and that's, that's a very simple process. I've just beveled each end so that uh, when you, for aesthetics purposes so it looks nice. One last tip for welding the uh, hook rod on straight is we, we use a jig and what we'll do is vice grip the uh, 
3 8 stalk which is 17 inches and then position it over the center that we marked with soapstone and then we can go ahead and weld it. Thank you very much.